Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio from AEC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is what is the main reason why a start capacitor fails. So if you ever walk up to a start capacitor and you see it's blown out like this, or the membrane has blown, or it's leaking fluid, you know that that start capacitor is bad. So why did it fail? In this video, we're going to be going over and showing you this capacitor failing. So you're going to see this fail while this unit is running. And before we do that, I just want to test the start capacitor and just show you that the MFD ratings are good. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the power off to this unit, which it's already off. We're going to disconnect the electrical wires, and then we're going to add a bleed resistor across the top. In this case, this one doesn't have one. You should have one, and that is there to bleed the residual voltage off of that start capacitor. If you cut the bleed resistor in order to test it, make sure you put one on afterwards. So we're going to go ahead and test the MFD reading and compare it to the rating right here. And I just want to read the MFD of this capacitor, and I want to show you that it is good. This is 141 MFD. It's also referred to as UF. On the side of this start capacitor, we see the rating of 135 to 162 MFD, so we know that this start capacitor is good. So now that we tested this start capacitor, we know it's good. The reason that this start capacitor has failed is due to this potential relay, and the start capacitor fails due to overheating and staying in the electrical circuit too long. So this is in the electrical circuit with the start winding in series, and it's there in order to help the compressor turn on. So you're going to have a potential relay or a thermistor uh, that's going to be opening up the electrical circuit after the first quarter second of runtime. So it should only be in the electrical circuit until the compressor gets up to about 75% of its rotation. At that point, the compressor, the motor, is actually going to generate a back EMF, a back voltage that's going to power the coil of the potential relay, and it's going to uh, turn it into an electrical magnet. It's going to go like that. It's going to suck this metal up against there, and what that's going to do is it's going to open this contact right here, this normally closed contact. It's going to open it up just like that, and that's going to open up the circuit and take the start capacitor out. If it stays in there, it's going to overheat. It's going to get dramatically hot. It's going to blow. Either the top's going to blow off or the membrane's going to blow, and that's when that start capacitor is going to fail. So this is different than a run capacitor. A run capacitor stays in the electrical circuit the entire time, any time that the PSC motor is running. And a run capacitor has a metal shell just like this, and it has dielectric fluid in there. So this can dissipate heat well, whereas a start capacitor, it cannot. And so the things that would uh, affect the lifespan of a run capacitor, such as the temperature surrounding this or uh, voltage irregularities, maybe due to the power supply, uh, that's not going to affect the start capacitor as much because this is only in the electrical circuit for a quarter second of the runtime. So it's, it's in the electrical circuit for a very short amount of time. So the thing that really causes this to fail is a potential relay that has welded shut contacts such as this one right here. Now these contacts fail due to the amperage crossing them. And so you have a lot of current crossing them and they just get pitted and just kind of melt together and that's how they get stuck. And so even when you have this electrical magnet uh, pulling this, it's not able to open up that electrical contact because it's just completely and utterly welded shut. And so the first thing that's going to fail is this start capacitor. And the start capacitor is actually designed to fail so that it doesn't completely wreck the compressor. So we're going to turn this unit on and this potential relay has already failed. The, these contacts are welded, so it can't even open up the electrical circuit. So we're going to see this in action. So the whole point of this video is if you see a bad capacitor such as that or this one right here, make absolutely sure to replace the potential relay or the start thermistor because that's most likely the problem. So you can see the burn marks in the inside of the case. You can see that this is just all burnt and welded right there. And so this is what caused that start capacitor to fail. If you want to learn more about HVAC, make sure you check out our website over at acservicetech.com. 
Over there, we have a bunch of free resources such as articles, quick tips, the podcast, calculators, and quizzes. We also have our refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning book, the thousand question workbook, and quick reference cards. We also have our physical products available over on Amazon. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.